there is a world outside of AI too. Just before all of this AI hype and mania, everyone was a cloud engineer, cloud architect or cloud practitioner. Overnight, those roles have turned into AI engineer, AI architect and AI gurus. But still, I believe that whatever learning we have done in the cloud arena still holds very much true. Cloud is not going anywhere. One of my go-to tool in cloud management and administration is Chekhov. Let me also introduce you to our very good friends at Beam who are sponsoring this video. Beam is the fastest way to run AI workloads with serverless GPUs, sub-second starts and zero infra. Deploy any Python script or LLM instantly on GPU, scale globally, no servers needed. Sign up at beam.cloud and get $30 in free credits every month to start building faster, smarter, and serverless. They also have a GitHub repo which is full of nuggets. So do check them out. I will also drop the link to Beam in video's description. Chekhov is a SCA tool or SCA tool or software composition analysis tool. What Chekhov does is very, very important. It statically analyzes the infrastructure as code in CloudFormation, which is in AWS, or Terraform, or OpenTofu, ARM templates, OpenAPI, Bicep, serverless config, Docker files, HEM charts of Kubernetes, Kubernetes uh, template files, customized, uh, customized with K, and it detects security and compliance misconfigurations using graph-based scanning. I was planning to cover this tool for a long time and recently I actually used it with Olama based models in order to not only identify what misconfigurations are there but also explain them and suggest fixes using AI and that is what I am going to do in this video. I am going to show you how you can get this check off installed locally and then how you can integrate it with Olama based models locally. Everything will be local, free and private. You don't have to pay for anything or you don't have to worry about any other security consideration with API based models. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member of the channel as that helps a lot. Now you know what this Chekhov is and what Olama is. Olama is one of the easiest tools to run models locally. And if you don't know what that is, you can just go to my channel and search with Olama. Let me quickly show you my configuration of the system. I'm running Ubuntu. Though it might not be that much necessary because you can run small model on CPU, but my GPU card is this NVIDIA RTX, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. You don't need 80 GB VRAM. I'm just using it or reusing it. This VM, I, I was using it for another video. Now, if you're looking to rent a VM or GPU or CPU on very good price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPU. So please do check them out as also, that also helps a lot. Now, let me take you back to the terminal and let's get started. First, I'm just going to create a virtual environment with Conda. You can use maybe Python virtual environment or whatever virtual environment you like but it's always a good idea to do so next up let's install Chekhov with some of the uh, python packages which i'm going to use while it installs let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and everything is now installed. Let me quickly show you my Olama. So this is my Olama where I already have this GPT OSS model in 20 billion running. And also I have Terraform installed. If you don't know how to install it again, search my channel. So these are the only two prerequisites which you need to have, or I would say three for this video. Check off Terraform and Olama. Terraform is not mandatory. Even Olama is not mandatory if you just want to use Chekhov and same, that is simply pip install 
check off okay so that is all done let me clear the screen now what i have done i have just created this docker file kubernetes results results will be placed here but there are a lot of files around terraform kubernetes and for example if i just take you kubernetes this is a simple deployment where I, we have some uh, kubernetes manifest file where we are creating this nginx container within this deployment and then we are specifying some of the parameters and stuff so you see there is an api key and this is a security issue because i have hard coded the value of this key here so these sort of stuff uh, you know i have put it in terraform templates and then also in the docker container file the docker file this is a docker image there is some security issues where we are doing some hard coded stuff or running unnecessary services so not only security it also deals with compliance the checkoff it has improved a lot and evolving very rapidly anyway so this is what it is uh, let me first do a very quick scan to see if without olama and you can see in this scan all i'm doing i'm just using this shell script to run this check of utility on terraform all the terraform file and then kubernetes file docker file and then it is going to generate a json report and then it is going to save it in the results directory so let me take you back to the terminal so i'm just going to run this scan here it is scanning the terraform files scanning kubernetes scanning docker file and then generating the json report so if i just go back here go to the results directory this is our json report as you know what exactly you know this was a check it has run and there are a lot of checks which are predefined which it runs and then it gives you its finding here which you can again uh you see it has found that uh, it has sorry it, this one has passed because that was true and this is a result pass you can uh filter it on the fail one so i'll just quickly go down and show you where it has failed So these are the failed checks you see that <clears throat> this is a you know vulnerability which it has found public ips and sometimes it is needed you know don't just believe blindly because your maybe your application needs a public ip and then there are a few other things but there's a lot of data a lot of metadata which is you know like a gold dust for telemetry tools okay so now you know how it works with without in a vanilla way let me show you how it works with olama based model now this is a code which is accessing the olama based model here and then it is not only finding those vulnerabilities but also explaining them with olama based now if you want the code i'm happy to share it with you just become a member and then message me and i'll be sharing the code with you highly highly appreciate the support to become a member all you need to do is to just go to the home page of the channel and there will be a membership tab here it's very cheap i think four to five us dollars per month and uh, you will have access to the code of the video just a recent one just message me happy to share the code with you okay but let me now run this here and then i'm just going to show you how it explains this stuff with olama so i'm just going to run this olama analyzer and as soon as I have run it, it has just analyzed it and it is now going deep down into it in a graph based fashion. And as you go, it has finished generating it. Let me go up to show you what it has done. It has done a lot of good stuff. So I'm just going at the top. So you see it has scanned everything. And then after finding the vulnerabilities or failures, it has described them with the AI. So you see, this is a perfect example of how you can integrate non-AI tools with AI and then just bring this intelligence to these tools. There you go, you see, and how good that is. Not only it is telling us about potential impact, but also recommended fix. Amazing, amazing stuff. And the correct one too. There you go. Again, and it is varied from Kubernetes to AWS, from Docker to you know um, ham charts and whatever you want and sky is the limit here 
and there are a lot of customization you can do with Chekhov and when you integrate it with AI you can already see that uh, there are real good strokes of brilliance amazing stuff okay so look I hope that you now get the idea and I mean how good that could be to integrate all of the legacy tool with uh, AI and by the way I also provide consultancy if you want to build a AI project or tool uh, let me know happy to help uh, you know help you out there you can reach out from the home page of the channel and then we can do something similar for any legacy tool there we can integrate it with AI and then you know just bring it to life that's it please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support